Hello, welcome back to the Lizabitty channel. Yes, I am Lizabitty. So, um, I want to talk to you today about Ghana being named the number two most peaceful country on Mama Alkebulon. Say what? Say what? Number two. The deuces. <laughs> so in the article, um, they list, actually, they list several reasons why Ghana is listed as number two. I will put the link to the article in the description box, uh, in the comments, I'm sorry. And if you want to go back and read about that, you can do so at your leisure. So I'll say this. Typically, people do ask how one selects a certain country, okay? Um, I won't use the word peace in terms of my own personal selection, but do understand that anytime there is less conflicts, um, a less likely chance of a coup d'etat, uh, these types of things, people will gravitate to that area. But Ghana, Ghana itself, has been welcoming to the diasporan, diasporan, whichever you choose, whichever you like, community. And by being welcoming to us, many of, of us are allowed to find a sense of home. For example, today, I did a live and I told you all it's about my breakfast, but there was a couple in there. This was their first time in Ghana. And what they were talking about was how it felt so much like home. It felt so much like home. And they are from the Maryland DMV area, that whole DMV area. So as you begin to decide where you're going to visit and look at these places, that should be something that you consider, especially if you have a family. I also say this, if you're into big attractions because you want um, all of these uh, things to do, so activities, yes, that should be on your list as well. Um, I recognize that there is so much to do in this country. I haven't even touched the surface. I have not even touched the surface. And once I get myself together, it is going to be travel time for me just throughout the entire country of Ghana so that I can see what she has to offer. Although there's many things, many, many things, be it water sports, parks, um, uh, activities like the uh, parks where you can do mountain climbings and just all of this. So I, I say to you that activities can be one of the things that you choose on your list as well. Okay. Now, another thing that you can choose on your list for uh, picking your countries uh, outside of peace and activities could be uh, the ho housing. Um, look at the housing prices. If they are in your budget, can you get more bang for your buck depending on where you are? And also be mindful of this. Whether you're stateside, you're in the UK, some other parts of Europe, think of this. If you're in highly populated areas, you're going to pay. I don't care where you are. People are under this misnomer that everywhere and everything is so cheap. Now, what I'm saying, I'm not going to say to you, is that there are things here that are not, when you compare the two, let's say via the U.S. to Ghana, that the prices will not, the prices here will be less. Or depending on what else it is, it could be comparable or a bit more. I'll give you an example. Um, things that are imported, a lot of things that are imported have higher costs to them because those companies that import that stuff, they have to pay duties. It's the same in America. Everything that is imported in the States, there is an import tax that is levied by the United, uh, you know, uh, damn Erica, 
onto those products. So recognize that. And so you're paying that there and maybe you don't realize that you're paying it, but you are paying for that. So it is not going to be as cheap that you think it is. It's only because you don't see the cost per se or a breakdown depending on what those items are, but you don't even think about the import tax because this stuff is important. Um, so that's something for you to think about as well. All right. So we got peace, activities, homes, okay? Something else you can think about. If you are a parent, think about if you're gonna homeschool, you're gonna use um, the local school systems or the government schools. Now, I'm a, I am a proponent of, of this, okay? I am no one's parent. So that's my disclaimer. I am no one's parent. That is my disclaimer, okay? But what I will say is this, is that I think if you can homeschool your children and still be viable uh, financially, I would suggest that because a lot of these books that, that are being used in these schools, they're not telling the truth about a whole slew of things, especially when it comes to civics and history. So even well, it, and if you choose some of these schools, you're still going to have to do work yourself to come back and deprogram your child. So it's up to you. You make the choice that is more suitable and more pleasant for you and your family, okay? That, 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 is, the, that is the best advice that Ms. Abitty can give you. Um, decide how you want to educate your children. Um, one of the, big, the biggest things that I love about the continent is this, is that when people try to compare the West to my mind, Kevy Leon, it is a no-go. It's a no-go for me. You know why? You can't compare the two. Americans are broke. It's, it's time to talk. Let's have a real conversation. It's time to talk. Americans are broke. And since Americans are broke, we use the credit system. That credit system is how we have ascertained these things. Now, yes, you, when you pay overtime and all of this, at the end of the, the terms, if you've done right, it's, it's, it's yours, excluding property, because property will always garner you having to pay property taxes. But when you come here to Mother Alkebulon, when you come here, right here, yes, sir, what you are going to find is that all the cars you see on the road, they're owned outright. All the houses you see in these different communities, they're owned outright. Outright. Excuse me. So... Continental Africans are doing far better than we are. And there, it's, this is a cash and carry society. Cash and carry in a peaceful society. Cash and carry. Ooh, ooh. A cash and carry. Ooh, ooh. So that's something to think about. And you may be saying to yourself, well, yeah, I don't have that kind of money. Listen, you have ordinary Africans doing this. Ordinary. Now, maybe all of them do not have, see, these big, gigantic, fancy homes that maybe some of you uh, are, are wanting that you probably don't need, but you want it. Because it's not a need, you want it. But just, just think of that. All of these homes and these cars that you see on the road are owned outright. And people are doing big things out here on the continent. So what I want to say to you, narrow down everything that is important to you and how you want to live within the confines of that. Pick and choose. And hey, I'm at home, so come on down here and meet me at home. I'm at home, so come on and meet me at home. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I do feel like I'm being shadow banned, even though I'm getting subscribers every day. Uh, something's going on. Anyway, Ms. Abitty is out, and thank you for your time. I appreciate your time, and I value it. Ms. Abitty is out. Peace.